Hello friends, time for another story. Today, our story is called Squirrel's New Year's Resolution. It is a new year and you might have been hearing your parents talk about making a New Year's Resolution and you thought, what is that? We're going to find that out today. Let's see what it says on the back of our book. It says New Year's Day is a great time to make resolutions. If only Squirrel could think of one. So let's see what Squirrel discovered. You're going to see this picture near the end of the book. But for right now, it's on the title page. And this book is by Pat Miller and illustrated by Kathy Ember. Squirrel pinned up her brand new nut of the month calendar. It's January 1st, the radio said. A great day to make a resolution. Make a resolution, wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Bear might know. She went to see Bear at the Lonewood Library. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is that like making a snack? Bear laughed. Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks? What? a resolution. A resolution is a promise you make to yourself to be better or to help others, Bear said. When you begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution? Squirrel asked. I did. Bear answered, I resolve to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets better. Oh no, Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought as she hurried to Skunk's house for a visit. She forgot all about making her resolution. Skunk was sick of being sick. I'm stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. She hid at the foot of her bed. She popped up and shouted, Boo! Skunk giggled. Hide and Skunk was her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again, boo, and again, boo. By now, Skunk was laughing hard. Just then, Dr. Owl came in. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Lunch, thought Squirrel. She headed toward Heidi Hole Diner. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. What are you doing? asked Squirrel. Turtle and I resolved to plant a garden, said Mole, but I can't find a good place to dig with all these trees. Here, said Squirrel. She dashed up the oak tree and looked down. So when you go up higher, you can see more. She looked down. She spied Wild Cat Creek and on its bank, a perfect place for a garden. A bank is the side of the grass by the river. It's called a bank. 
school or squirrel scampered down and led Mole and Turtle through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out string for the borders of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch, said Mole. Lunch, thought Squirrel, and she rushed away. She still hadn't thought of a resolution. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. He was looking grumpy. Ever have days like that? We all do, don't we? What's wrong, asked yes, Squirrel. I resolve to be less grumpy, so I'm trying to laugh more, but I can't think of anything funny. I can help you think of something funny. Like, why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? I don't know why. Because she was nuts, laughed Squirrel. Porcupine laughed, too. I get it. That reminds me. What's striped and bouncy? Tell me, giggled Squirrel. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. Squirrel laughed herself right off the stool. Porcupine said, that's a good one. I'd better write these down. Off he went to find paper and pencil. So there's Squirrel. He had fallen off the stool because he was laughing so hard. Squirrel felt left out. Porcupine had a resolution. So did Bear and Skunk and Mole and Turtle. She thought, I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Rabbit came to take squir Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special? asked Rabbit. Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. Squirrel ate her lunch special and thought hard. Now the title page had this picture on it. So it was giving you a hint of what was coming in the story. Just then Skunk came in. I need a healthy lunch. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Turtle and Mole came in next. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden, said Mole. Squirrel found a terrific place for it, said Turtle. Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why Bear said caw caw? Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said, he was learning another language. <laughs> All the animals laughed. I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. So do you hear what they're all saying? They're all seeing something the same. Can you tell someone close to you what that is? Let's see how it ends. <gasps> Rabbit said to Squirrel, you're doing a good job with your resolution. I didn't know I had one, said Squirrel. Your actions are better than your words. It looks like you resolve to help someone every day said Rabbit. She helped Skunk. She helped Turtle and Mole. She helped Porcupine. So she helped three people 
and she wasn't even really trying to do anything different, was she? Really, S Squirrel? I did it! I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel! shouted all the animals. It was going to be a very happy new year. And she wrote down, I resolve to help someone every day. What a good story. And you know, with young boys and girls, you might think, oh, I can't do anything different. But maybe with hearing the story of Squirrel and Maybe you can resolve to help someone every day. Or maybe you can decide that every day you're going to say, Mom, what can I do to help you? Or I'm going to take care of my animal every day. It's always good for us to think about, even when we're five and six, how we can do a little bit better. So I want you to think about it. If you think of something, go ahead and add it on our Google Classroom if you're in my class. If you're not, go ahead and send me a message because I'd love to hear about it. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.